You're watching SA Tonight on ENCA. Political news now, and the ANC in Guazulu Natal has named Nomusa Dube Ngube as its premier candidate. This follows Sisezigalala's resignation last week. The announcement was made during a press briefing earlier on today, and our senior reporter, Sipaman Koke, has been tracking that story for us and joins us now for an update. So, Sipaman, it must have been the worst kept secret, uh, the whole looming nomination of uh, Nomusa Dube Ngube uh, for the position of Premier to replace Sisle Zigalala. What? It's been speculated and known for the last few days. Finally, confirmation. What is the ANC saying um, are the reasons and the motivation uh, and considerations behind nominating her? Well, they say her, her experience, her credentials are solid, both politically and administratively. Let's recap and just give you a brief CV of Nomsa Tubengube. She's the former speaker of Etewini Metro, the only metro in Guazulu Natal. She is also the former Cocta MEC, former ETIA MEC, that is Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs. She's the current leader of government business in Guazulu Natal as she serves as the finance MEC in the province. So the ANC says based on all those achievements administratively and in terms of governance, she's one of the senior employees who qualifies to be nominated for this position. At a party level, she's a former deputy provincial secretary of the ANC in Wazulu Natal, former provincial treasurer, and they say also those, you know, qualifications enabled her to be able to be nominated. But let me tell you that it's been speculated for a a number of years now. Since 2019, there has been speculation that at some point Domusa Dubengube was destined to become one of, or should I say, the first female premier of Wazuru Natal. When Senzo Mkunu departed, speculation was rife that Domusa Dubengube was going to take over from him. That did not happen. Sikhe Zigalala came in, and many people were saying after Sikhe Zigalala, Domusa was set to take over as the premier of Wazuru Natal. So it has finally happened. The main reason that it was kept a close secret, quote unquote, even though it was not a secret. It's simply because the interview process was on Saturday. The names of three candidates were submitted last week, I think Thursday or Friday, following the praise or should I say, following the PEC meeting on Thursday, they submitted three names to the national officials of the ANC, and those three names were Nomusa Dubengube, Mbali Fraser, who serves as the current chairperson of the Public Works Portfolio Committee in the legislature, as well as Amanda Pan, who's the chairperson of the Portfolio Committee responsible for sports, arts, and culture. So it was given that in terms of seniority, no or should I say, Nomusa Tubengube was set to take the position of becoming the premier. So she's nominated for now. The process will have to go through to the provincial legislature. She will have to be formally nominated and elected by members of the provincial legislature, where the ANC is the majority party. But let's take a listen to what Peggy Mtolo, provincial secretary of the ANC, had to say about what it took for them to consider her. Today it is our great pleasure to announce to you Comrade Nomsa Tubengube as the premier nominee. She is not new in the leadership position, as she previously served in various positions in the organization and in the government. Born in Guamashu, Comrade Nomsa Tubengube is armed with a master's degree in public administration, and she currently persuading a PhD in the University of KwaZulu Natal, in one of the world acclaimed universities, which is one of the best in terms of research output. She served as the speaker of, the, of uh, our metro, uh, Etegwini Metro, before being assigned to the foreign mission as the ambassador to the Czech Republic. She was previously with the Department of Economic Development, Tourism and Environmental Affairs as the member of the Executive Council uh, for COCTA uh, for 10 years. Kumbli Nunsa Kubengube currently serves as the MEC for Finance. Uh, as a, a liberation movement, we have rejected the notion that women get relegated to second-class citizens. In this, in, in this leadership, you will understand that women comrades are not mere numbers. So that's Begim Dolo, the, the ANC Provincial uh, Secretary in Guazulu Natal, Sipamandla. Nomosa Dubengube's comrades uh, affectionately call her the game changer. How exactly um, is the ANC hoping she will change the game of governance in Guazulu Natal? 
I guess it remains to be seen, simply because she has been part of the provincial executive, she's been part of those who've been governing KwaZulu Natal. She was the MEC responsible for cooperative governance and traditional affairs for two terms. Some municipalities were struggling under her leadership. There were challenges there as to how she plans to turn things around now in the province. We can only judge her based on her performance, but the ANC officials in the province are adamant that she would move with speed in terms of ensuring that, you know, she leads the process of providing basic services to the people of Guazulu Natal. The issue of water provision has always been a challenge in the province, and when Nomusa Dubengube was the MEC responsible for COGTA, there were service delivery protests Many people were not happy with her department. Some municipalities were performing dismally, having to be placed under administration. Her late husband, well-known businessman, Spoonobe, was accused of milking tenders under her department at the time. But of course, she says she's ready to hit the ground running. The chairperson of the ANC in Wazuratal saying, well, the mandate is really simple. Ensure provision of basic services, deal with the issue of unemployment and other issues. Let's take a listen to Sboni Sotoma. Comet Nomosa will just hit the ground running, take it from that level, because we are one ANC and her assignment in particular will just ensure, address the issue of the imbalances of the past, create new growth, if possible, enlarge the scope of Itala, because Tala should be licensed so that the issue of loans amongst our youth must they must access. I think you know these days, currently the banking sector is not driving a transformational agenda. Comrade Nomosa is also the embodiment of someone who could also drive the issue of unemployment. And in terms of women emancipation, I think she will strengthen that role. She will be able to work with Abu Mame Makaya, Emma Lokshin in Open Stream, because characteristics she is able to understand and adapt clearly on what is required by the communities and address the issue of crime, the issue of women oppression. I think we've already highlighted through this statement, if you can just check a background. So that's Boniso Duma, the, the ANC Guazulu Natal chairperson, speaking earlier about the nomination by the party of Nomusa Dubengube for the position of premier uh, that has opened up since the resignation of Sikhle Zigalal. Well, let's hear from the woman of the moment, um, uh, from her speaking for herself, just reacting to her nomination. I, I do accept the deployment uh, by the ANC. Um, and also wish to thank the um, trust that the ANC is giving to me um, to be able to lead a collective um, uh, of, uh, in government. I, I, I indeed going to be working with the ANC um, leadership um, as well as uh, all my colleagues uh, in government mm -hmm. to ensure that um, we deal with the crippling issues that we are still facing in our province, those of um, um, dealing with the socio-economic um, challenges that we are facing, issues of uh, unemployment um, that we are facing um, as a province. All right, so many angles to that story, but unfortunately we have to leave it there. That's ENCA's Sipa Mandla Koke there, updating us about the ANC nominating Nomusa Dubengube for the position of Premier.